G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be having a look at trigonometry, okay? This is the first video where we're going to be having a look at uh, trigonometry in a series I'm making right now. Um, and so first off we're going to have a bit of a look at some different terms that we're going to be using when we look at trigonometry. So first off, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is essentially where we're, it uh, quite literally means the measurement of triangles, okay? So basically for right angle triangles, that's ones that have this little 90 degree uh, angle in them. You can use this trigonometry to work out, say if you have an angle here, you could work out some unknown side lengths, or you can use unknown, you can use side lengths to work out unknown angles, okay? Because it has these fairly uh, handy little ratios that we're going to be having a look at, okay? So just pretty much that's what you need to realise for the minute. We're going to be using angles in this right angle triangle to work out side lengths and side lengths to work out angles. And as long as you have two of them, you can work out everything else. Okay, so first off, really handy what we can do is we put some labels on them because every particular uh, side here has a name. So first off, it depends upon the angle that we're either trying to work out or the angle that we have. But the angle that we're either working out or the angle that we have, we call theta. Okay, I'm going to mark it here, but I could just as easily mark it here. It would just change the sides uh, what they were in relation here. So first off, the longer side here, you may have remember this off Pythagoras' theorem, we call the high hypotenuse. Okay? Or for short, we're just going to often refer to as H. Okay, now if you were to have a look from this angle, directly across at this side over here, this, to this opposite side here. We have another side. It's directly opposite theta here, and we actually call it the opposite. Okay, so I'll write that in, the opposite. Okay, you can probably guess, so we often call this O. And we have this other one here, which is adjacent to theta here. Okay, we call this <laughs> the adjacent. Not Jason, we don't call it Jason, we call it the adjacent. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. And I'm gonna we're gonna use A to symbolise that. Okay, so the hypotenuse always along the side, the opposite, opposite theta, the adjacent is running next to theta there, okay? Often I find it easier to put the opposite one in first. So there's a couple of really, really uh there's three trigonomic ratios, they're called, that we're actually going to be using that we can work out unknown sides, unknown angles. And these are as follows. Okay, so I'll move this just like this, and we'll write this down. The ones that you see, I'm going to put up a calculator, okay? And you, depending on which calculator you have, um, first off, if you're using the one on the computer, you might see that I have it on scientific here, under view, okay? Um, but you might also have one that actually is an actual calculated calculator and they'll often see that they have these buttons tan, cos and sine. See those ones? These are the ones we're going to be using a lot, sine, cos and tan. And these basically are the three different trigonomic ratios. Okay, so the first one, the sine of the angle. Okay, the first one's called the sine ratio and that's when we're dealing with the opposite okay and the hypotenuse okay so um, essentially it's looking at a ratio between the opposite here and the hypotenuse in fact we end up it's a ratio so it ends up with opposite over hypotenuse okay we also have one which I'll put back up because that was the sine we have the one here which is called the cosine but often we just call it cos for short the cosine is looking at the relationship between um, the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Okay, so not the opposite and the hypotenuse. Now we're looking at the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So this is that ratio where it is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. These are a couple of rules we're going to be using too. And they're not that bad to remember. The other one we do, I'll put it up here, this calculator again is we have this one down here called tan. And the tan or the tangent it, is the relationship between the opposite and the adjacent, okay? The, the ratio between these. So the opposite and the adjacent. And you might have seen in the past, 
if I write these letters out, okay, in that particular order, okay, we would end up with sine opposite hypotenuse, cos equals A over H, cos OA, uh, 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 I spelt that incorrectly, I'll get rid of that, I apologise, um, OH, oh, crikey, going very AH, this is not the way I think about it necessarily all the time, so, and then we end up with tan equals opposite over adjacent. And look, some teachers are going to probably have said to you in the past, and some people are going to go, yeah, we remember this because of this word, Sokatoa. I don't never, I could never remember it like this, I'll be honest about it. Some people remember these particular rules here, because they remember this particular thing here. And we're going to be using these rules in a second, okay? So, this Sokotoa thing, I don't like it. The, the way I actually remember this is as follows. Some old hags, old lady, some old hags can't always hack their old age. Okay, that's the way I remember it, okay? You might have a different one that you remember, okay? Um, and if you do, paste a comment up. I always love to hear them. Look, if they're, if they're too... If they contain profanity in that, I've got to delete them, okay? It's, a, it's something I would like kids to be able to use. But, uh, uh, you know, there's there's degrees of reasonableness, reasonableness okay? Um, so, some old hags can't always hack their old age. Some old hags can't always hack their old age. Okay? So... First off, what's really, really important is that you can get a few triangles and that you can uh, identify these. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. What about we get a triangle, I'm going to hand draw one down here and see if you can go through and we're going to be talking about, I'll do an easy one to start off with. I want to know compared to theta here, theta, which is the different parts. So, you were to go, which one's? First off, which one's the hypotenuse? Do you remember? That's the longest one. Yeah, it's the diagonal one. That's this one, H. Which was the one opposite theta? That was the opposite. Okay, which was the one that's adjacent here? Okay, that's the other one here. That's the one running next there. So this is the adjacent. Okay, what about if I draw another triangle up? This time I'm going to, again, I should be putting my little 90 degree symbol down there. What about if we have, say, theta up here now, which, where's the opposite? Well first off, where's the hypotenuse, which is the long one here? Okay, that's this long one here, the hypotenuse. The opposite is, if you can imagine looking to the opposite side, so this is the opposite, and the adjacent is the one running next to theta there. Okay? So first off, really, really important that you can go through and label these, okay? The next thing you want to be able to do is you want to be able to remember these particular rules, okay? Because we are going to use them. You can label them, then you can remember these rules. And what was that particular thing again? If you remember, it was some old hags can't always hack their old age, okay? And there we go. So we're going to be using these. In fact, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll put up the next video because this one's going to be running a little bit over at the moment. So I'll put up the next video and we're going to start using these. Okay, so I'll see you then. Okay, bye.